What? What is that? Oh. Surface Pro 6, a shadowy flank into a tablet that has barely been upgraded. It's still cool. I love this, you know, retro tech. Especially in black. You know, that kind of thing, it's really in fashion now. Lawrence Mann, a young digital artist on a crusade to help the cause of his fellow digital artists, creatives, designers, photographers, and other people who need a decent tablet with a stylus in a world of pain and other inferior products. Nope, she's not in the video. Sorry. <laughs> Thanks, Kit, old buddy. I'll catch up with you next time. So, the Surface Pro 6. Is it any good for digital artists and creatives? Um, let's take a look. You might have seen my Surface Studio 2 video already. I was a little harsh on that maybe, maybe not. I don't know, it depends what you think. Let me know in the comments below and let me know in the comments on that video. But the Surface Pro 6 was announced at the same time. There was also some Surface headphones. Personally, I wasn't interested in those, but you might have been, let me know in the comments. I've never really said anything negative before about Surface products, so, you know, now is pretty much the first time ever, and it's purely because we're pretty much only seeing spec bumps now, you know, uh, little jumps in the, the specifications, rather than any real innovation. You know, the products are starting to all look the same. This Surface Pro looks exactly like the last Surface Pro. The Surface Studio 2 looks exactly like the last Surface Studio. Um, the only difference is the processors are slightly better. The graphics cards are slightly better. Um, it's not as if they're massively better either. So, yeah, you know, it's just if you want to save yourself a bit of money, go and buy the last one. If you want the latest tech, buy this one. And, well, you can save yourself the effort of watching this video and just, there you go. That's the kind of summary, I guess. But... <sighs> Let's take a look at the exact specifications and see what that actually means. Because I want to champion the surface range, I really do. I hate negaviews, negative uh, reviews, just so people can kind of, you know, get you to watch them. I don't want to be a naysayer. I've loved the Surface brand for absolutely years. And I think there's there's something about the Surface range that really is worth its weight in gold. But, you know, Surface is starting to lag behind now. The, the stylus has 4,000 levels of pressure and tilt sensitivity, but 4,000 levels of pressure now, that's actually quite embarrassing. You've got tablet manufacturers who are, are still seen as Wacom alternatives. They all have 8,000 levels of pressure and tilt sensitivity as well. So if these manufacturers are doing it, why doesn't Microsoft, one of the largest tech giants in the world? I know that the Surface range wasn't built just for us as artists, but they really have always talked about it and said, hey, for you guys, it's the best thing ever. The pen isn't the best stylus for artists. It clearly isn't now, you know? Uh, for me, it never had the form function. The buttons have progressively gotten harder and harder to use. Um, so, yeah. So, yeah, there are certain key features that, um, that are just not as good as the, they could have been. And I think looking at the specs on this new Surface Pro 6, we're going to see if it is, in fact, worth getting as a digital artist. Okay, so first off the bat, dimensions wise, this is still a 12 inch screen. It has 10 points of touch, and that's absolutely fantastic. It's basically the same size that it was previously. Nothing much has changed about the dimensions. 
realistically, looks wise, the Surface itself hasn't changed since the Surface 3, which, yeah, that's, that's quite odd. On the Surface 3, we had a home button, a physical home button on the front. I believe there was actually an upgrade to the kickstand at that point as well. I loved the Surface Pro 3 at that time, and Pro 4 was a big update, but Surface Pro 5, if you had them next to each other, you could tell the difference. Surface Pro 6, yeah, again, you can't tell the difference. I think that's why they've made this one black. I, I never heard anybody overly asking, ooh, can we have a black one? My sentiments exactly, Michael. Black's nice, feels a bit old hat design-wise. I haven't seen anybody else do anything black. I'm, I'm not gonna argue over this one. Um, quite like it. I would like to have also seen more colours, maybe. That would have been cool. You know, um, maybe a, a solid gold one. <laughs> maybe a red one. I know red is a really popular colour in um, Asia as well. Um, let me know what colours you'd have liked. That would be that would be cool. Is is black your thing? Would you have liked a big red band on it, like the A-Team? I'm just going retro for the 80s now, I suppose, you know? Would you have liked the flashing? You know, the flashing lights on it like Kit. <laughs> that'd be that'd have been cool by me. Surely you just. But you can always put on your own vinyls. You know, that's one thing you you could always do. The screen itself is a two seven three six by eighteen twenty four resolution, and that's a three by two ratio. Um, it's yeah, like I say, this is the same dimensions as the Surface Pro has always been. That three by two ratio being very surfacey. Uh, the three by two ratio is something they've always liked, while everybody else has gone, you know, for the much more widescreen look. The three by two ratio is nice um, when you're laying all your palettes out. You feel like you've got a bit more room. I like it, it works well on the Surface Studio as well. The screens are really nice quality. I believe the screen itself in this one is a much better quality, a much brighter screen as well. That's absolutely cool. Again, I wish they'd have gone for matte. They're not saying it's more for artists. I think they're moving away from artists, if anything, these days. Especially given, you know, everything they've said in their announcements. So yeah, okay, fine. If you are gonna get one of these, then I definitely suggest going on Amazon, uh, eBay, wherever you shop, and buying yourself a matte screen protector. Because after a certain amount of time working, say an hour or two, generally what I find with Surface products, the screen can heat up a little bit. And that rubber tip on the stylus, it starts to get a little bit, you, you feel it kind of sticking to the screen. So buy yourself a matte screen protector at the same time you buy this. Battery life, Surface team have said 13.5 hours, don't believe it for a second. But then again, never believe anything anybody says about battery life. 13.5, guessing on what we've had battery life wise before from Surface, I would say this is probably nearer 9 or 10. If you're doing serious hardcore work, then I'd probably say it's nearer seven or eight. So obviously this has solid state drives. This is a one to eight, a two five six, a five twelve, or a one terabyte. A bit small, guys. Um, really, I would say with this, you should just be shipping a one terabyte or a two terabyte. Huh. Makes perfect sense. Don't bother with the little flimsy ones. Who uses a one to eight? It's going to be full in about five minutes of putting some photos on there. I know, I know that this isn't just for eyes. I know that there are going to be some people who just surf the web with one. My wife has a Surface Pro 4 and she just looks up crap on the internet. But she has the 512 drive and I know she's almost gotten it full of absolute garbage. So, don't bother with the 125. So memory, this is where I'm gonna go Hulk on Surface. Eight gig or 16 gig, what is the absolute point of this? Eight gig, I have this in my phone, what are you doing? Is this, is this absolutely ridiculous? Does anybody else, comment below what you think of this. I, I, I personally can't believe Surface have done this and this is, this is the bit that made me make the intro that you saw at the beginning of this video. This is what made me look and think, am I actually looking at the specs for the Surface Pro 4? 
eight gigabytes of RAM. Why, why would you do this when it's almost 2019? I'm afraid we're not out of the woods yet. Between this and the processor specs as well, because <sighs> eight gigabytes for something that is supposed to be a serious working tablet. You know, if you just wanted a cheap tablet, you'd go and buy the Amazon tablet or something like that, just to surf the internet, watch some, watch some funny videos on. But if you want a, an actual tablet to do real work on, you know, do some Excel sheets and, and stuff like that. I'm not talking about artwork, but I'm talking about, you know, if you're a business guy with a tie and everything like that. No, eight gigabytes, yeah, you can do that, but... I prefer not to find out. 16 gigs is the absolute minimum. And even then, I think they could squeeze 32 into the high-end model. So, yeah. I, I think it should have been 16 and 32 gigs. So I'm a bit annoyed about that, personally. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Processor. So this was the other thing that majorly, majorly got to me. This is the Intel 8th generation core, wait for it, i5 or i7. Okay, so I'm glad the i7's in there, and it should be, and it's the 8th generation. I mean, yeah, to be honest, at this point with the Surface Pro, I don't think you need to really do lots of different models, and I think that's part of what will increase production price, and therefore outgoing price. I think you'd be much better off having fewer models to sell because then you, you've you got, you know, it, it, it's just the way it is. You have fewer models to sell, then you can, yeah, oh, I'm not going to go into economics of production now, but yeah. People don't need that much choice. Um, and processors, who cares about i5s? Really, it's redundant. Unless you've just got a load of leftover stock that, you, you want to get rid of. It was just a thought. The only people who are going to want it are the people who are going to want a Surface, don't understand what it is, and just want to pay the lowest amount of money. Graphics, the Intel UHD 620. Again, the i5 or the i7. You already know my thoughts about the processor, so there you go. You have to get the i7 processor if you're going to get one of these, so... Um, to be honest, I think the graphics really majorly needed a boost here. I, I, I don't know why. I think they could have done something majorly better with this. I'm, again, very disappointed. What am I looking at here? I feel like they didn't bother to do anything majorly with the graphics because they, maybe they thought, oh, if we put something in here, then we won't be able to sell the Surface Book. Does that sound right to anybody? And that kind of feels like an Apple thing to do, you know? We don't want to sell you something because then you won't like something else in our product range. <sighs> Next thing you know, they'll be making you buy special cables and uh, they'll be, like, taking out ports and they won't be giving you certain ports, like, thunder... Oh, wait, there's no USB-C on this, is there? It's bad enough if you watch my um, if you watch my Surface Studio video that they didn't give us Thunderbolt. They only gave us USB C, and then there was only one of them. But on this, there's nothing, and that was a real letdown. You know, on this, it should have been charging via Thunderbolt, but yeah. So cameras weren't really mentioned. The reason being that the cameras on the Surface Pro 6 are five megapixels front facing, eight megapixels back facing, and that is absolutely naff. The kind of cheapest, poor quality imported phones that you can get on the market have this same camera setup. Five megapixels front facing is the same as you had, you know, kind of like 10 years ago. So why are we getting this on a uh, on the top of the range flagship tablet. I, I don't get that. Um, okay, people don't go around taking photos normally with their tablets, but you do Skype, and this has Skype written in the specs over here. So, people live stream, people have decent broadband available to them, people YouTube. Uh, so, yeah, you need this kind of, uh, you need this 
decent camera quality. That's why I don't want my family looking JPEGy when I Skype them. I don't want to see clients looking really, you know, at poor quality kind of screen shares when I'm showing them work. So yeah, Microsoft really, you can't just pull old tech out of a drawer and keep giving us that retro rubbish. You know, that was the whole point of that intro is, you know, retro old fashioned tech. You can't, yeah, it's, it's not funny. The intro was funny. This old fashioned tech that you're giving us, not funny. So to be honest, I'm a bit disappointed with where the Surface Pro 6 is. Um, for me, this is where the range could happily end. Lots and lots of people have taken inspiration from the Surface Pro. When it first came out, people were like, oh, oh my God, this is the best thing ever. Loads of other brands came in and copied it and some people were just too blatant about it and it was like, oh no. But other brands came along and made versions of it which quite frankly have been amazing. You know, so, so yeah. I kind of feel like the Surface Pro has done its job, run its course maybe, unless Surface team are going to come back and kind of blow our minds again with something cool. But we've seen uh, a few iterations of the Surface Book now that have all looked the same. The Surface Pro has looked the same for a long time now. Uh, Surface Studio, two versions look identical. Our surface out of ideas, you know, um, have they turned into Apple? Well, they just don't want to do anything new. Just give us little spec bumps and hope that we just keep buying. Bit sad if that's the case. Personally, um, I, I love the surface, but yeah, really what I'd love to see is a major upgrade to the stylus technology. I'd love to see the matte screen. Well, you know what I want to see. I've mentioned it a hundred times. But I really want to see them throw their all into it. Very cool. The important thing is that you guys know what you want. And let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear it, that's for sure. Um, realistically, how upset are you by the Surface Pro? I haven't heard anyone so far tell me that, yay, they love it, it's the best thing since sliced bread. Um, normally, I, I kind of hear everybody loves a product, or it's like some people love it and some people hate it, but this time with the Surface Pro 6, I haven't heard anybody kind of telling me how much they love it. So, kind of weirded out, you know, the fact that Nobody really, really loves this. Um, yeah. Even even the gut reaction from people I know who should love it has been a bit quiet. If I... I don't think I'll get my hands on one. I don't think I'm going to get anyone give me a review model, especially after this kind of video. But if I do manage to get my hands on one for review then definitely I'll, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll give it a go and see if there is any different kind of experience to it. You know, I would like to give it a try and see if it is different, if it's, you know, if there's anything new about the feel of it. Personally, for me, the one thing I was really, really hoping for was a 15-inch Surface Pro, just like they gave us with the Surface book. That for me, if they'd have given us a 15 inch black Surface Pro, yeah, I'd have just been happy with that. Maybe if that had a bigger, better graphics card in, yeah, that would have been me happy. Um, and you wouldn't have even needed to have done any more than that. But obviously they want to sell the Surface book as well, so this is why we don't get those things. Until next time. I'll speak to you later. Be creative. Have a great day. Okay, so that was an absolutely weird one, wasn't it? I hope you liked the intro. Um, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. Like, comment, and subscribe. Good.